Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our morning inspiration. Thursday, June 6, 2024. Our reading today comes to us from Genesis chapter 2, verse 7. And it says, And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground, and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and man became a living soul. Amen. We thank God this morning for his words. The reading this morning is a very interesting one. And the reason why it is interesting is because it speaks to the whole matter of the soul and what the soul is. Now, in Christendom and in the world, this is a subject that has sparked a heated conversation and cause a lot of controversy but if we follow the guiding of the holy scripture then it should not be that difficult for us to understand what this mean or what it means to have a soul or even what happened to us after we die and this verse in genesis chapter 2 verse 7 it gives us the first clue or one of the clues to tell us what a soul is and even what happened to you when you don't have a breath in your body. Now, let's dissect the verse for a moment. In the verse, it says that God formed man from the dust of the earth. Correct? So it therefore mean that he create a clay pattern. So he used the dirt and he made a clay like figure. Now when he made this clay like figure, it was just that, a clay like figure. So it did not have any life in it. So it was just that, some clay. And then after he made the clay-like figure, he then breathed into the clay-like figure, what? His breath of life. That's the key word there. His breath of life. It therefore suggests to us that life comes from God. So the breath and the, the, breath and the, the life that is within us. It is God or it comes from God. So the body, which is the clay-like structure, without the breath is just that. A body without life. And then the third indicator is that man became a living soul. So the male-like figure that he made and breathed the breath of life into now came alive and now it's a living person a living soul so that's the clearest answer or i should say one of the clearest answer you will get to tell you that there can't be a soul without life do we get that so, the clay plus the breath equal a living soul. So, you can't have a soul without meeting two factors and ultimately three factors, but more so two. What are those two factors? The two factor is you need a body and you also need the breath of life that comes from God. So you add those two and it gives you a living soul. That's the calculation. So this should clearly tell us that when we die, we go back to the earth from which we came. I know that Adam was the first man that was made from clay. And then Eve was taken from Adam's rib. And then... The other children that were born came through 
the procreation of a man and a woman. But you can still consider them as coming from the earth because the same construct, the same things that are used to make up the body. So even though the process may be different in terms of um, how we enter in the, into this world born of a woman, the elemental materials that are used to make man, the original man, are the same material that used to make up. So we still come from the earth. Do we get that? And that is why scripture tells us that when we die, we go back to the earth from which we came. Do we understand? And so it clearly tells us that a soul cannot live on after a person dies. In fact, there's no such thing. You, own, you are a soul right now, a living, breathing soul. And when that, bud, when that breath leaves your body, you are no more a soul, but a person that has died. And the Bible referred to it as sleep. And this morning, I want us to understand that the scripture is not misguided in the way it gives information. I think it is very clear. And so as I read this morning and as you read, and I will suggest that you go back and you read the text. And if you are interested in me sending you some more references, then you can, uh, then you can just let me know in the chat. But just keep in mind that you are a living soul and that's that. There is no soul, so your loved one don't die and come back as a soul or come back as a spirit or come back as whatever. When they die according to Ecclesiastes, even the memory of them is forgotten. So they have no memory of nothing that is taking place on the earth anymore. For them to have memory of what is happening in the world, they will have to be a living soul. They would have to be alive. Do we understand? I hope that we are understanding. And I pray that God will continue to give wisdom. And as we continue to seek to know more about him, this is a very big topic, but I won't spend too much on it this morning. I just want to give that information so that those of us who are of the belief that somehow there is a soul after you die that, the, that according to the scripture, it is not so. Amen. May God continue to bless and keep all of us as we seek to walk in his light and seek to follow the reading of his word, the guidance of his words. Amen.